Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can multiply this as x times x times x give us x cube minus x times x as x square equals to 100 on this side. The next step, take 100 to this side become minus. That is, we have x cube minus x square minus 100 equals to 0 here. And also here, we can express 100 as 125 minus 25. That is, this equation become x cubed minus x square and minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close brackets equals to 0 here. Then this minus open this brackets and becomes x cube minus x square minus 125 plus 25 equals to zero here. That is, yeah, we can write 125 as 5 times 5 times 5, which can be written as 5 cube and also. 25, that's 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. And this equation becomes x cubed minus x squared minus 5 cubed plus 5 squared and equals to 0 here. The next step, we bring the power of 3 together. We have x cubed minus 5 cubed and also power of so together we have minus x square plus 5 square i equals to 0 here which also can be written as x cube minus 5 cube into brackets and here minus into bracket this remains x square minus 5 square plus bracket equals to 0 here then here we apply for this first bracket, when we have a cube minus b cube, this is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open brackets, a square plus a b plus b square. That is, the second bracket a also follows. When we have a square minus b square, do the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open bracket a plus b. Then, we apply this here, and this equation becomes x minus 5 into brackets and open brackets x square plus 5x plus 5 squared and minus. We close these brackets then minus. Also, here we apply what we have. We have a minus b now, a is starting as x. Which imply into bracket x minus 5 close bracket open bracket x plus 5 close bracket which is equals to 0 here then next step here we have x minus 5 comma when we factor it out we can see we have x minus 5 out into brackets open bracket here we are left with x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared as 25 then here we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5 close bracket and close this bracket which is equal to 0 here watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up put a comment and share this video next step here minus open this bracket what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets and open bracket x square plus 5x plus 25 m here become minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here. That is, here we have x minus 5 into brackets and open brackets. This becomes x square 5x minus x become plus 4x. Then 25 minus 5 become plus 20 close bracket equals to 0 here. That is, here we have two possible cases now. First term we have x minus 5 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here. 
Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, then c equals to 20. Then from the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And what we have becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 20, then all over 2 times 1. Watch this video today, hmm? give it a thumbs up, put your comment, and also share this video. Then, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared, that's 16, minus 4 times 1 times 20, we have 80, then over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80, that's minus 64, all over 2. Then, we can as well write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 all over 2. That is, here yeah, this follows when we have root a times b, which you can separate as root a times root b. That is, here yeah, we can write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times root minus 1, then over 2. Which implies we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 plus 8. Then root minus 1 is i over 2. And we can separate this into two fractions as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. At this here, we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 is minus 2 and plus or minus 4i over 2. 8i over 2 become 4 high. At this, we have two complex solutions here. And here, all together, we have three solutions in this given problem. One is solution and two complex solutions. When we write it, we have x1 equals to 5 and x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i. Then x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 high and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this review with thumbs up and put your comment see you in this lesson bye for now